Are you suffering from acid reflux or heartburn? You're not alone. Acid reflux, often interchangeably referred to as heartburn, is a common condition that afflicts countless individuals worldwide. It's that uncomfortable, sometimes even painful sensation that rises from your stomach, making its way up to your chest, and sometimes even reaching your throat. It's like a burning tide that ebbs and flows, but mostly flows, causing considerable discomfort and interrupting the rhythm of daily life. This condition is so prevalent that it's become almost a universal experience, a shared discomfort that crosses borders and cultures. But here's the good news. You don't have to live with this discomfort. You don't have to accept it as an inevitable part of your life. There are ways to treat acid reflux at home and we're going to share those with you. So stay tuned and let's embark on this journey towards a reflux-free life together. Before we dive into the treatment, it's important to understand what acid reflux is. Acid reflux, often referred to as heartburn, is a common condition affecting millions of people worldwide. It's a medical condition where stomach acid, sometimes mixed with partially digested food, flows back into the esophagus. This backward flow is known as reflux. The main culprit in this process is the lower esophageal sphincter, or LES. The LES is a ring of muscle at the entrance of the stomach. It's normally tightly closed, opening only to allow food and liquid to pass into the stomach. But if the LES weakens or relaxes when it shouldn't, acid can flow back into the esophagus, causing that all too familiar burning sensation. Now why does this happen? There can be many reasons from diet and lifestyle choices to certain medical conditions. Consuming large meals, being overweight, and indulging in fatty, spicy, or acidic foods can trigger acid reflux. Habits like smoking, drinking alcohol, or lying down shortly after eating can also make things worse. Even certain medications and health conditions like pregnancy can contribute to acid reflux. When acid reflux becomes a regular occurrence, it can lead to a more serious condition known as gastroesophageal reflux disease, or GERD. GERD is not just discomforting but can also cause damage to the esophagus over time. It's essential to understand that acid reflux doesn't just affect the digestive system. It can also lead to problems in other parts of the body. For instance, it can cause a persistent sore throat, laryngitis, and even dental issues. It can disrupt sleep and reduce the quality of life. In short, acid reflux is more than just a minor annoyance. It's a significant health concern that needs to be addressed. But the good news is, there are ways to manage and treat acid reflux, many of which are natural and can be done at home. Now that we know what acid reflux is, let's discuss how to treat it. The first step to treating acid reflux at home is making lifestyle changes. This may sound like a daunting task, but it's really about small adjustments that can lead to big differences. Firstly, maintaining a healthy weight is crucial. Excess weight puts pressure on your abdomen, pushing up your stomach and causing acid to back up into your esophagus. So, if you're overweight, focus on shedding those extra pounds through a balanced diet and regular exercise. Speaking of diet, it's not just about how much you eat, but also what you eat. Certain foods and drinks can trigger acid reflux, such as fatty or fried foods, chocolate, caffeine, alcohol, and even certain fruits and vegetables. Take note of what triggers your symptoms and try to avoid them. Also, eat smaller, more frequent meals throughout the day instead of three large meals. This can prevent your stomach from becoming too full and causing acid reflux. Don't forget to have your last meal at least three hours before bedtime to give your body enough time to digest the food. When it comes to sleeping positions, elevating the head of your bed can help. This prevents stomach acid from flowing back into the esophagus while you sleep. You can use a wedge-shaped pillow or raise the head of your bed by about six to nine inches. Another lifestyle change is quitting smoking if you're a smoker. Nicotine can weaken the lower esophageal sphincter, the muscle that keeps stomach contents from backing up into the esophagus. Lastly, stress management plays a vital role. Engage in relaxing activities such as yoga, meditation, or simply taking a walk in the park. Remember, it's about making gradual changes, so don't pressure yourself to do everything at once. It's okay to take small steps until these changes become a part of your daily routine. These changes can make a significant difference, but let's take a look at some home remedies too. There are several home remedies that can help manage acid reflux. And the good news is, many of these remedies can be found right in your kitchen pantry. First, let's talk about apple cider vinegar. Believe it or not, sometimes acid reflux is caused by a lack of enough acid in the stomach. Apple cider vinegar can help supplement this acid and aid digestion. 
Just mix a tablespoon of it into a glass of water and drink before meals. Next, we have baking soda. Its alkaline nature can help neutralize stomach acid and provide temporary relief from acid reflux. Dissolve a teaspoon of baking soda into a glass of water and drink it slowly. But remember, this should not be a long-term solution as it can cause an imbalance in your body's pH levels if used excessively. Ginger is another great home remedy. It's been used for centuries to soothe digestive issues. Incorporating ginger into your diet can help calm your stomach and potentially lessen the symptoms of acid reflux. You can make ginger tea by steeping fresh ginger in boiling water for a few minutes. Then there's chamomile tea. It's known for its calming properties and can help reduce inflammation in the stomach, which in turn, may reduce acid reflux. And let's not forget about aloe vera juice. It's been shown to have anti-inflammatory effects and can help soothe the stomach lining, reducing the burning sensation of acid reflux. Lastly, a simple yet effective remedy is to chew gum. Yes, you heard that right. Chewing gum stimulates saliva production which can help neutralize stomach acid and ease acid reflux symptoms. These are just a few home remedies that may help manage your acid reflux. Don't forget to maintain a balanced diet and avoid foods that trigger acid reflux. While these remedies can provide relief, it's important to remember that everyone is different. What works for one person may not work for another, so experiment with these remedies and see what works best for you. While home remedies can be effective, there are times when medical attention is necessary. Now let's talk about some signs and symptoms that should prompt you to seek professional help. Firstly, if you're experiencing severe pain that doesn't subside after taking over-the-counter medications or implementing lifestyle changes, it's a clear indication that you should seek medical attention. Persistent heartburn, especially if it's interfering with your everyday life or causing you to lose sleep, is also a sign that you need to see a healthcare provider. Another symptom that should not be ignored is difficulty swallowing. This could be an indication of a more serious condition known as esophagitis, which is inflammation of the esophagus. Difficulty swallowing can also be a symptom of esophageal stricture, a narrowing of the esophagus that can occur as a result of long-term acid exposure. Unexpected weight loss is also a red flag. If you're losing weight without trying, it could be a sign that your acid reflux is causing you to eat less, or that you're not absorbing nutrients properly. This is definitely something that needs to be checked out by a healthcare professional. Also, if your symptoms persist despite your best efforts at home management, it's a clear sign that you need to seek medical attention. This could indicate that your condition is more serious than you initially thought, or that it's not responding to the treatments you've been trying. And lastly, if you're experiencing chest pain, especially if it's accompanied by other symptoms such as shortness of breath, dizziness, sweating, or pain radiating to your jaw, neck, or arm, you should seek immediate medical attention, as this could be a sign of a heart attack. Remember, it's always best to consult a healthcare professional if your symptoms persist. It's essential to listen to your body and recognize when it's time to seek help. Your health is your most valuable asset, so don't hesitate to take the necessary steps towards preserving it. Treating acid reflux at home is possible with lifestyle changes and home remedies. And that's what we've been discussing today. We've learned that understanding acid reflux is the first step. It's not just about the discomfort, but about the potential health risks if left unchecked. We've talked about the importance of lifestyle changes like adjusting dietary habits, increasing physical activity, and managing stress for keeping acid reflux at bay. We've also explored some home remedies like ginger, chamomile tea, and apple cider vinegar, and we underscored the importance of seeking medical attention if symptoms persist or worsen, because sometimes home remedies and lifestyle changes aren't enough. A comprehensive approach is key when it comes to managing acid reflux, and to help you with that, we've compiled simple recipes and a meal plan designed to alleviate heartburn symptoms. For more information, including simple recipes and a meal plan to help manage acid reflux, click the link below. Thank you for watching.